Okay, let's make a nice little map that you might be able to print out. And so, of course, we need things like a north arrow and a scale and an explanation. So, first step is you, if you see down here in the lower left of the main view, we're on what's uh, it's called the data view now, but we can switch to the layout view. And there, you see, it's literally the piece of paper on which you might print. So now we can get our zoom tool and zoom in to uh, kind of get this thing, our map looking the way we want, navigate around. And, and what's important to remember is the layout, it's almost like a window into the data. The window is fixed, but you can move the data around within it. You can also change the size of the window. So for example, if I get the arrow, oops, let's move this back up here. If I get the arrow tool, I can change the size of this window. Now it will rescale, or it sometimes will rescale the map inside there. But now we see, um, have things composed the way I'd like. So next thing is if we go to insert, we can insert a north arrow. And so you might choose one that you like. Let's say this little arrow from ESRI, we can make it slightly larger. If we do insert um, scale bar, click here on the simple one, properties, and I'm going to use units of meters. Say OK. So now I've got the. Uh, OK, so one of the next things we're going to need to do is put a little bit of a scale on there for the, the elevation. So we insert legend. And you see there's the, all the map layers on the left and then the items that go on the legend on the right. So we have FG Sanborn, our, our one. Uh, digital elevation model we've been working with and we also have the shade in there but I think we don't need to include any explanation of the shade because it's self-evident so let's get, push that to the left so we just have FG Sanborn let's do next and you can change the title I prefer actually explanation over legend and you can modify this very significantly. I'm just going to click through next, get to the end, and I've got a basic explanation. So let's right click on it and do properties. And if I click on style, I can, and then properties. Let's turn off the heading because that is the where it said value that's not very meaningful and just extra text so we say okay okay and okay got rid of value so now we come over to to the table of contents and we if we edit the name of this layer right here we can say elevation bare earth and then let's say meters. So that changes the title of it down in here and it's more, maybe more descriptive, but didn't change the data or anything. And then if we right click on, on our, and then if we right click on the file over in the table of contents, do properties. And you, if you see here in symbology tab, it has uh, labels and it's uh, the default labels are not there's too much information so we can just say let's just round it to the nearest meter so 762 for the high one and 281 for the low one and, and now we've got a much more meaningful explanation with just the appropriate information and we could print this out so the last thing, thing we might want to do after we've set up our nice layout is to export it to a file. So you just go File, Export Map, and then I'll go to where I'm saving my files. 
Skype Workshop X1, your exercise one. Now you can save these as many different formats, TIFF, um, etc. But I prefer the PDF, and it makes uh, it makes pretty good PDFs. So let's just call this the FG Sandmore map, and keep these settings as they are. Should be pretty good. And that's it. Don't forget to save once in a while.